Hey everybody and welcome to my reaction video for Wonder Woman 1984, of course, the latest movie from Patty Jenkins, starring the likes of Gal Gadot, Chris Pine. It's a sequel to the hugely successful Wonder Woman movie, arguably one of the best DC movies of the last half decade to a decade. I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed the tone of it, just the way that it set this character up and visually as well, it was just stunning. Chris Pine was a great mentor figure for Gal Gadot and he's back for this movie so look, I can't wait, I'll stop speaking to see what the hell we're getting here. It can't be better, can it? It can't be. My life. Oh, that's a cool it's shot, man. I like the photograph. We all have our struggles. Have you ever been in love? A long, long time ago. Ah, there he is, Stevie boy. So many times, yeah, all the time. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Love the synthesizer at the start, and then that little 80s techno shit going on there. Love it, man. Welcome to the nice dress. Nice small as well, man. Look at those colours. Why shouldn't it be? All you need is to watch. <laughs> Think about finally having everything you always wanted. I can save today, but you can save the world. Yeah. They're gonna have to explain to me how he's no. still alive. But I'm baffled by it. I take what I want to return. Pedro Pascal. How do I not know he's in this movie? It's bizarre. What's going on? That's Devil Pedro. Oh, so cool. I've seen that in a little teaser. That was neat. That is magnificent. Wow, what a shot. That's like Guardians of the Galaxy esque. I will need you. Wow. You know what you need to do. Yeah, that's a cool callback, man. Very nice. From lies. And greatness is not wow. What you think. <laughs> wow. And finally, wow. <laughs> oh, a nice man like it. A little X Wonder Woman sign. What a suit as well. It's all art. Bum bag. Uh, that's just a trash can. It's just a trash can. <laughs> there you go. Listen, man. I, I mentioned Chris Pine. Look, he done a, a marvellous job, let's be frank here, um, of really helping guide Gal Gadot through the original Wonder Woman movie, or the first Wonder Woman movie. I'm sure there was some obscure one prior to this, no doubt. Um, but, but him and Patty Jenkins, they did a really fantastic job of guiding her. And that's not to say that she needed guidance and, and a, a sense of just being like this immature person or something like that. I'm, I'm meaning more in the sense that she's not the most talented actress in the world, but she was just tailor made for this role. She got a lot of shit when she was cast. I can't imagine anyone else playing the character now, so I think that speaks volumes for Gal Gadot and what she's brought to the role. In terms of this trailer, it really does look as what is better than the original movie, which is incredible because that original. Wonder Woman movie was really, really good. Um, it ushered a new era for DC, um, post-Justice League and Dawn of Justice. It was the start of this real renaissance for the two companies, Warner Brothers and DC. And they've often changed their strategy now and it's really exciting. We're getting a whole host of great movies coming up, so much so that I'm perhaps more excited for them in an individual sense than what Marvel are doing. And this movie looks incredible, it's so colourful, they've really managed to capture the period wonderfully, from the fashion to just the, the music to the colours, as I did say. Um, certain movies have tried to do the 80s period and they failed badly because they went way over the top with the, the optics, with the visuals and with the neon lights and the fashion. I mean, it was a zany time in terms of fashion, but this seems to have just got the balance right. We've got Steve back there, it has to be explained why he's there because he did, I'm pretty sure, die, he sacrificed himself at the end of Wonder Woman. I thought it would be a grandchild or something, to do something corny to bring the actor back. But no, he looks like a man out of time. 
So it looks like it's the original Steve. Pedro Pascal is in this movie. I didn't even know. Looks like he's playing the antagonist. That will be interesting. Because Pedro traditionally seems to play anti uh, protagonistic figures, not antagonistic. And then you've got the suit as well. The gold suit is magnificent looking. She's doing the, the Wonder Woman sign to block the bullet. But just the suit previous as well. It looks more colourful. More in fitting with the Wonder Woman character, which I ref reminisce of, I think of, when I think of Wonder Woman, as opposed to that more kind of a, how shall I put it, bland, sort of a washed out suit that we had in the first Wonder Woman movie. But all in all, I really like the humour, the blend of humour, the action, some interesting things going on with tone there, and I'm really excited to see what Patty Jenkins brings to this character, brings to this movie. She's one of the best directors in the game just now and I'm, I'm super excited for it I cannot wait but guys what did you make of the trailer what's your thoughts on this character on the, the future of DC was this the start of this renaissance the Wonder Woman movie the first one what's your thoughts on the trailer as a whole in terms of visuals neon lights are plenty character development what's your thoughts on my reactions if you've got anything to say at all you can comment below and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. You can also like the video or dislike it if you hated it. And you can subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying content like this. And if you do, then I'll be back again with more trailer reaction videos.